Hello, hello. We are back, and <laughs> for uh, the countless amount of time, we're back at Mara. We're starting off again. Quick princess run. Feels like every episode's going to start this way. Hopefully this is the last time. Hopefully we get our legs here. We can kiss this place goodbye. Start focusing on Sunken Temple. Um, anyway, yeah, so this group... I, I have been online for like half an hour to 45 minutes. Trying to fill this group. Took a long time. Luckily I was, I was multitasking, so uh, it didn't really matter. But it took me a little while. Just organizing stuff for the arc series, chat, chatting to people, figuring out uh, who's going to be coming in next, which is exciting. Seems <laughs> organizing availabilities for this arc series is uh, pretty much se seemingly more challenging than uh, organizing the 25 man raid roster at the moment. Uh, but hopefully, we've come to a solution here. Oh, the uh, thing's already up here portal. Someone else must have just put this up. Oh, I can't use it. Okay, I'll do mine. Alright, and away we go. Rubbing our hands together at the potential for some plate pants. So, what are we going to be doing here? I'm just going to put salves on as per usual. These guys can request non-salves if they really want. Ready? Oh, I didn't think about food, but luckily I've already got some. Mithril deposit over there, which no doubt I will be unable to get. Um, and yeah, I think it's been a day or two since I last played. Our uh, rested XP bar is off the level again. Um, I don't know how much we're going to do today. Oops, I was already on the right bar. Not sure how much we're going to do today. It would be, it would be nice to level up. Oh, I feel a big sneeze coming. Oh, that was a big one. Alright. Um, yeah, it, it'd be nice to level up, but I, I feel like that would be a big ask. I don't imagine that we're going to be leveling up today. But with all that rested XP, you never know, we might get on a roll somewhere. <clears throat> oh yeah, i got to keep my distance here, make sure I don't get silenced. All the usual stuff. Um, hope you guys aren't finding this too repetitive, having every episode having Amara in it. But you know what, you know, you get a goal, you want to complete the goal, right? Let him pull the next pack, and then I'll sit down for a drink. Warlock is being very, uh, very free with the life taps. Wait for Pat, I agree. I'm gonna drink. Uh, so yeah, my, my plan for this episode, if, if we were not able to find a Mara group, which did take forever to uh, find a tank, Come on, you can you can tank this before they get to me. There we go. Good work. I'll just keep drinking here. The plan was actually to go to Fellwood, and I was in Fellwood, uh, but that's when I kind of got busy, and I was I'm sure you've all experienced sitting around in a main town in World of Warcraft and running around, jumping in circles over and over and over again as you talk to someone on Discord. It's basically what I was doing, so I've lo I lost about an hour of what would have been film time, unfortunately. Unfortunate for me, it doesn't really, doesn't really affect the viewer. Um... So I had a little bit of a runny nose after that sneeze. Let me take care of this. Okie dokie. This guy's uh, actually taking a fair bit of damage. I don't remember if this was happening before, but the uh, 
Having this warlock just go nuts on life taps isn't isn't really helping. So at this at this rate, I'm just about going oom after every pack. And that's not um not great. get a second in between pulls, I'll uh, try to type something out. See if old Megs here can uh, relax a little bit on the life taps. She's got a lot of health. Feels like she's got as much health as the tank. What's the tank got? Three. Uh, FYI, the combination of tank health plus warlock uh, sending oom, so we'll be doing less healing on life taps. Don't think that was passive aggressive. I think that was pretty fair. I'm watching. No worries. Cool. I'll do a smiley face. And it's time to re redo our buffs. I did have a quick chat to the tank as well, because we are the only two plate users. Uh, just to let him know, I thought I thought I might be able to get a little deal here. I was like, hey, uh, hey, listen, there's only one item that I'm after here. I'll pass on the ring for you. I'll pass on the weapons. I'll pass on anything. Uh, but just to let you know, I'm going to be going for those plate pants. Uh, unfortunately, his response was, I want the plate pants too. So, uh, and it, it's fair enough. If I was tanking in here, I would definitely want to be rolling on those plate pants. So, no dramas. Oh, have I? Oh, I think, I think it's time. I think it's time to eat this smoked sagefish. 3 MP5 for 15 minutes. What a buff. It's not often that I have mana issues. Today is that day. Wow, that broke my... That broke my food. The, the absolute split second that uh, I finished eating. So that was quite fortunate. Hunter Pet's taken a bit of damage. I, I, from memory, this guy does AoE, but the rogue isn't getting hit. I wonder why the pet is and the rogue isn't. We've got a patrol here. Probably too late to get it. Oh, no, it's coming this way. Um, so, like I was saying before, what my, my plan had been, I thought, all right, I'll do a bit of Felwood, then hopefully I'll find a group. We'll do some of that. Um, we're just going to flip that around. So, we're starting with Princess. Then we're going to head to Felwood. Uh, the biggest reason I want to go to Felwood is because I'm still waiting to get to... Uh, what's the name of this place? I'm still waiting to get to Moonglade to hand in this... Uh, the, the seed quest from the last boss in here. And the starting... Oh, God. Yep. Swarlock is very brave. The starting quest... Uh, starting quest. God, what am I saying? My brain is mush today. Um... Yeah, the, the, the starting quest for all that stuff where you get the fur bulgs to neutral so that you can travel through and not get yourself killed. Um, that's 48, which is green to me. So I figure that there's no better time to do it than now. Now the rogue is getting hit. I wonder if it's just two things get damaged. Very odd. Alright, he's decided he's going to go kill the other boss. I'm okay with that. It's a nice little chunk of XP. I'm going to see if I can dip in here and do a Seal of Wisdom. See if I can get a few hits off. I have a feeling the amount of damage I'll take by being in here will probably counteract the mana I'm getting back. I don't really seem to be getting that much mana back. Something though, I guess. 
Now we'll do a big heal. Yeah, we're, I don't think we actively gained mana from doing that. I mean, we did. If I just let my, my health regen, maybe it was. We're not going to be, be able to uh, do that with two of these mobs, though. The Warlock has said they're looking after themselves with their low health bar, low mana bar. It's quite strange. I feel like I never have to drink in here. Let's put a Devotion Aura on. Maybe that'll help a little bit. Give him a little bit more armor. So, like I was saying, Felwood is up next. Uh, let's make sure this tank doesn't die. got to, obviously we've got the 48 quest then we've got some low to mid 50s as well oh who's that running for be really nice if you could bring this away from the group so it's not hitting absolutely everyone it's probably not thinking of that though Time for rebuffs. Hopefully he doesn't just charge in. Ten seconds. Oh, he's going. Ah, should be right. Yeah, whenever he's ready. That's about ten seconds. Don't remember if this guy AoEs. find out. Oh, he does, but it's nothing crazy. God, this is also unfamiliar. I, I'm just totally misremembering everything that happens here. Ready to bubble here if I have to. Got a threat pull. And we've got a me health going down problem. It's not an issue that I would like to have. Helmet the Mountain. Plus 10 nature resist with no stats on it. That's a big greed for me. The tank will probably need it. He did. Got a feeling this guy's going to just need everything he can. I mean, it's, is that even... I don't know how useful that is. Maybe there's a big meta thing which I uh, have missed out on that says this is the best tanking helm. Guess it's got a lot of armor on it as well. Anyway, back to what we're doing today. So we're going to knock out Felwood. If we get to those mid-50 ones, we might actually do a little bit of traveling and knock off some more places where there are low-50 ones and save those mid-50 ones for later. Even though it kind of feels at the moment like um, the boost of regular Dungeoneering is giving us some XP that is going to mean we don't we don't have to do every quest. Even though I like doing every quest for completionist's sake. Really does feel like this guy's taking a little bit more damage than I'm used to. Where's the rogue? Oh, the Rogue Blade Flurry? Yes, a Rogue Blade Flurry must have pulled a bit of threat there. Alrighty. I'm going to be close to going through all of our water on this run, I think. Will this be the day? Will we finally get our plate pants? He can start. I'll get a few quick sips in. He's pulling back. He's probably... Oh, God. I wish I knew he was going to do that. Keeps pulling these things onto me. Now he's going back in.
He definitely takes a little bit of damage from these. So, Felwood. Um, I've got Feralis targeted after that. The same old, same old. I feel like we've been to Feralis like five or six times where we go there to do it and then we end up leaving before we finish everything. Got Angoro Crater. Angoro Crater as well is another big one I want to do because there is a quest there that leads to a quest in Sunken Temple. So I'd like to get that before we head in there. Blasted Lands has a bunch of level 50 quests. I remember them being kind of... kind of meh. Um, there's a couple of them that... I remember that they're just kill quests. But... Um, here comes the pat. They're just kill quests and they're like, kill kill the mobs and take the items off them. Take the body parts, etc, etc. He better pull this before it gets to me. You don't need to go all the way back there, good sir. There we go. <laughs> he's, he's just charged in. I'll keep... I know our buffs are about to fall off again. I'll just get one more tick of... There we go. Let's heal up now. I'm taking a little bit of damage here. Alright, there are all our buffs out, and there is all my mana gone. I'm wearing all the right stuff, aren't I? Why is this feeling so much harder than usual? He can start whenever he's ready. He, please don't pull these back onto me. Just let him know I'm ready. He doesn't have to wait for me to get full. He wants a cookie. He's... <laughs> <laughs> He's not trusting my healing at the moment. He's probably seeing my mana issues and going, Oh man, this healer sucks. Oh, it's, I don't know, I think it's probably a combination of both of us, You're sir. Welcome. I don't think it's just me. Uh, so yeah, after Ungoro, we've got Blasted Lands. Uh, we've got Blasted Lands? Oh sorry, Blasted Lands I'd already said. We've got Burning Steps. I remember Burning Steps being pretty shit for questing. But there are a couple of low 50 quests there as well. And uh, the last thing I've got noted down, or last location, is Western Plaguelands. I remember WPL and just the Plaguelands in general. That those Both of those places felt really good for XP in my memory. However, there were a couple of very tricky quests in WPL. Specifically those, uh, the packs of humanoids that you had to go in and, uh, you had to fight like two or three or four of them and the casters hit like absolute trucks. You've got the guys walking around with dogs that is basically a, a 2v1. Um, I, I remember every time going to WPL and it was it was just accepted that if you're in double WPL, Western Plaguelands, there was a certain quest there that you would have to look for group to do it. <laughs> you just weren't you were not doing that quest by yourself. Um So that could be an issue. I think by the time we get to WPL after hitting all these other places, as well as potentially doing more Mara runs, I <laughs> I hope not. I hope this is the last Mara run we do. Um, as well as starting to weave in some sunken temples, maybe. Uh, by the time we hit Western Plague Lands, fingers crossed, uh, we'll be out leveling that place and we'll be able to take care of those mobs. Alright, let's get them topped up. And get my mana topped up. The buffs should have enough time on them. Here she is. Trying to have a look if I can see any anything bulging out of her pockets. It's obviously got a few bulges here, but looking for something the shape of some plate pants. Uh, when knock back 
let tank pick up again. Almost forgot that some people might not know that. He's taken a little bit of damage here. That is... Alright, there goes the Warlock pet. And of course, Megs is... Uh, just going to chill there. Going to save my bop. And... Small issue, the... Health of the boss is going down slower than my mana. So we've used a, a mana pot here. Nice and early. And he's going to lose that demon pet again. This warlock is uh, not making the best choices here. Oh, it survived. Let's see if I can get a quick, hell, uh, quick heal on it. How's our health? Should be fine here. I might have to start prioritizing. Uh, okay, let's put a bop on there. Save the uh, Warlock's life there. Warlock was dead if I didn't do that. This has been a bit more of a spicy run than I'm used to. All the pets are going to die here probably. Alright, <laughs> please finish this. Oh, thank goodness. No pants again. Oh, man. And the ring again. This... I must... I have reverse good luck. This is crazy. We keep getting the ring, keep getting weapons, and we're not getting the item that probably most people would be disappointed to see drop. Ah, uh, well. Um, anyone want croc for quick XP? Basically, uh, waiting on the tank to say, yeah, yeah, tank said yes. Alright, let's just follow the tank. Uh, doesn't look like he knows. Does he know how to get there? Ah, oh, so the pants of, oh, you know what? I think we're going to hit 60 and we, we're, <laughs> we're, st we're still going to look the way we do now. Obviously, we're in our healing set now, so that's not helping the comparison. But, uh, who won the ring? Was that a, um... I think the rogue was the only one that went in for it. What, did the hunter go? I only see him receiving it. I don't see anything beyond that. Oh, he's already here. Quickest crocodile ever. Ross Grip. And crocodile down. 7,400 XP. Not bad. Uh, yeah, not for me. Alright, that is all she wrote. Another day, another unsuccessful Mara. Well, successful for someone getting their ring. Maybe I should advertise these as Blackstone ring runs. Guaranteed drop. Um, alright, so I'm going to swap my gear out this time. We're not actually going to go and quest in healing gear. For it would uh, be very nice to quest in my normal gear. And uh, I'll see you in Felwood. Alright, I've got some bad news. Bad news for you and bad, more bad news for me. Um, here we are in Felwood. You'll notice that I'm right at the top of Felwood, and you'll notice that uh, everything's explored. You'll notice that there are some quests that are complete and ready to turn in. We've been bamboozled. I've just lost um, about an hour and a half of footage, and I don't know why. So basically what's happened is you will have just seen me finishing Mara. And uh, I didn't turn the recording off. 
but for some reason the recording ends while I'm on the boat going from Booty Bay over to this continent. I killed all of the Furbolgs, I killed all of the Satyrs and had quite a few close close calls as well. Uh, there's a lot of invisible guys there that kept turning it into 1v2s and 1v3s. I had to run away a couple of times. Uh, I also killed all the guys in Jadenar. I took slime samples here and I took slime samples here. And after all that, we were I was at about uh, 2 hours and 20 minutes of the recording, which when you take out travel time was going to be a, a video of about uh, 1 hour 50, 2 hours. I said, okay guys, uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. And I went to turn off the video, I'll turn off the recording, and I couldn't because it wasn't recording anymore. <clears throat> Again, I don't know why. I definitely didn't turn it off. I've rewatched the video. It's just me sitting on a boat waiting for it to take off in Booty Bay. Um, I would be able to see myself turning it off. So it's just crashed. Um, another thing I've tr after that, I tried to start the recording again so that, oh, I think I've one second. Um, Alright, I am back. I heard uh, a cat fight. Had to make sure it wasn't my cats, even though there are other people in this house that could have done it, but uh, apparently it was in the too hard basket. So anyways, picked up this thing. Um, yeah, look, we, we've lost pretty much an entire episode. I am really salty about it. Really not sure. Well, oh, that's right. I was saying I tried to restart the recording so that I could do what I'm doing right now and it just wouldn't even start the recording so some something had fucked up um, I'm using GeForce experience which I've you know I've been recording with GeForce experience since the, since the start I've had very minimal issues with it however lately I have been starting to have some issues uh, a couple of times I've recorded little bits for Ark and I've played it back and it's just been sound and not video. Um, it, it's been getting more and more unreliable. I thought maybe it's just a bit of a coincidence. Maybe it's my computer. Who knows what's going on here? Um, but the worst, the worst has happened. And uh, we've nearly lost an entire episode. I mean, at least we've got the dungeon. The dungeon is still there, but... Uh, yeah, I was just going to end the video, turn a few quests in Ding 53. Look, we're, we're, we're about to Ding 53. Oh, this guy is, this guy's a little bit too high level. Basically, um, this is the reputation for Timbermore. I just wanted to get that over slightly so that we could take the pathway and I could, uh, turn in that quest in, uh, Moonglade. I didn't realize how high level some of these guys are. Maybe... This is going to be a bit difficult. Although we're taking him out slowly but surely. Respawns won't help though. Did I even get rep for that? Oh boy. Ah, uh, yuck. Oh, it's just going to be one of those days, isn't it? Let's bubble. Let's use a health... Mm, I don't think we need a health pot quite yet. I think these might reset before I need it. Alright, so... Yeah, I... Sorry, I wasn't paying attention if I got ripped there. I'm gonna have to check again. I'm gonna have to kill another one. You would assume you do. You definitely did at the ones down in the south. But if I don't get repped down here, that's... 
<laughs> it's going to be another thing to make my day a little bit more complicated. Suffice to say, this will not be a full-length episode now. Um, I guess the reason that this kind of thing hurts the most is because the one thing I don't have at the moment is time. And uh, just getting this video out was a bit of a challenge in time management. So, uh, losing it is it's, it's a big punch in the gut. So, I'll do a little bit more. Probably go for another 20 minutes, maybe, but then I'm gonna have to tend to other things, unfortunately. Definitely gonna. So, what are we at? We're at 2797. Let's see if that actually moves this time. Two seven nine seven. Okay, so it is, but it's barely. Um. Oh, hang on a sec. Maybe this one I turn in up here might give me a little bit of rep. I didn't even think about that. God, I hope it does. Please just give me two hundred rep. That's all I'm asking for. And we can. Do the travel through the hole and get to Moonglade. Um, other things, I, I went through all of the BlizzCon notes. Uh, you're going to miss out on that. Not that it was particularly interesting. But I was talking about Kata and the new classic stuff, and etc, etc. No rep. Six Watchers, six Avengers, six Shamans. How is this not a plate helm when it looks like that? Pants are interesting though. Definitely superior DPS pants. Why are all the pants I get red? Why didn't I accept that? I only want one pair of pants. And it's a pair of pants I can never get apparently. Hopefully tomorrow's the day. Just making sure that the... Yeah, okay, yeah. We definitely can't go through yet. Alright, I guess uh, we're going to do this one though. Even though it's a level 55 quest, I didn't want to, but I don't want to run back up here again. Oh, you know what else? I never got the flight path here. I guess that's one good thing. I, t I would have totally forgotten to do that. If not for uh, coming up here. If we had the reputation, I just would have run all the way through. and Never got the flight path. Where it? Oh yeah, of course. Um, so the enemies there were a mixture of 54 and 55. I think we'll be absolutely five going. <laughs> absolutely five. We will be absolutely fine just uh, picking and choosing and taking out the 54s. We'll need to be a little bit careful. We're not going to be able to do many uh, 1v2s. As long as we avoid that, very confident. Very confident we can just knock this out. Hopefully that gives us 200 rep, or by that time we won't need quite 200. Need a little bit less than that. We'll run through the moon glade, we'll have a quick look there, and that's probably going to be the episode, unfortunately. Thank you, GeForce Experience. Thank you, my computer. I don't know which one of you is to blame. Could be either of you. One of you has uh, caused me a headache today. Anyway, let's move on. I don't want to fight that wolf. Actually, really surprised that didn't um, aggro onto me there. <clears throat> As you can probably tell, my voice is... My voice sounds like what my voice sounds like after I've just finished a two-hour recording. Uh, which means not good. It's starting to go. I guess I... Man, I guess I... <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> Saved you from some big coughs there. Oh. 
It just stopped again. Well, 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 we are back again, because guess what? My video footage just cut out, and this time I noticed it happening. This is, uh... This is very frustrating, and I at least this time I think I know what the problem is. And it ain't much of a problem. <clears throat> or because the timing that it just cut out... I'm pretty sure I was doing the same thing last time when I was waiting on that boat at Booty Bay to go across the continent. I was sitting there thinking to myself, what am I going to talk about when I finish this travel? Oh, I know. I'll bring up the BlizzCon notes on my second screen. And I bet that's what I did. I bet that's what's happened. And I've gone and done it again this time. I thought to myself, well, I might as well go over the notes. So I've gone over my second screen, open up my web browser, and then the video stopped. Why? I don't know. I've never had this issue before. It's pretty stupid. I haven't changed any settings. Ah. <sighs> Either way, well... <clears throat> I think I know now what I need to stop doing, and that, apparently, that's doing anything besides the game that I'm currently playing. Sorry if you're, uh, hearing the frustration. Um, I know when I'm watching videos, I'm there to leave my own frustrations behind, and I'm not there to, uh, listen to other people be angry, but... I, I, I am angry, I'm ready to smash the computer. Just joking, I'm not going to do anything silly, but... It's very annoying. I don't know why this is happening now. But what it does mean is I think I can finish this episode if I don't alt-tab again. <clears throat> we don't have many of these guys to kill. I am going to be focusing on bandaging, though. Six Den Watchers, six Avengers, six Shaman. We'll be picking off the ones that are a bit lower level. Got a lot of shaman here. A lot of shaman. I think the Avengers are only going to be further in. <clears throat> God, my voice is going. Really wish I could pull this guy away a little bit. There we go. There we go. Yep, yep. Excellent. We are getting our asses handed to us. These casters are no joke. That was a very long wait in between swings. <laughs> okay, one more hit, one more hit. Get him, get him. Ugh. I don't think I can remove that either. Oh, no. Oh, get out of here. Get away from me. So I am going to have really shitty healing for the next two minutes. And the one thing I need to do right now is heal. This is one of those days where you know you're being tested. I am up to the task. I'm going to survive. Um, <clears throat> do I have any food? I guess I'll just heal the best I can. I mean, 50% less healing is better than no healing. I've only got one mana drink left. Damn, well, at least we've only got four more shamans to kill, and there are some 53s in the area too. I'm a bit worried to fight this one with two on either side though. I'll pull this Den Watcher first. Take the Den Watcher out, that should make it a little bit safer to fight the shaman. Yeah, keep coming with me. Yeah, I'm on. Uh, but yeah, like I was saying, the Avengers, I think, are the ones which I, uh, need to find. I need to see where they are. I need to see what level they are. If they're 55, 56, uh, this probably ain't happening. But, hey, I mean, even just killing these little guys, uh, we needed 200 rep. Now we only need 150. So we don't necessarily have to complete the quest. 
Oh, we nearly, nearly finished. As soon as this goes off, we'll queue up a big old heal. And it's gone. Maybe. <laughs> I mean, so one thing that I do do with my recordings, do do, I separate my voice from the actual video recording. So I've got the full, I've got the full voice recording of everything I was doing. I just don't have the visuals. Maybe. Oh god, I don't have a blessing on. Did I not have a blessing on the whole time? You're a freaking idiot. Um. Yeah, I could. Maybe I'll post the uh, the sounds of me playing as a podcast or something. Just me saying, "Oh, this is getting hard," and you've got no idea what the hell I'm talking about. Uh, man, this is this is this is going to be tricky. Um, we're, we're definitely going to have to. I'm going to have to use more of my bandages, and uh, not being a smooth brain and keep forgetting that I have them. Gonna sneak around and try and find some Avengers that are of a reasonable level. And there is one. We can definitely do this quest. Unless that's a patrol and he comes up and smacks us and we've got to run all the way out. I hope that isn't what is about to happen. Didn't have my seal on. It just keeps getting better and better. So it definitely is a patrol. But I think we can kill this before it gets there. And then we will not bandage, because we don't have... Uh, we're not going to have enough time. I don't know what the Avengers do. Curse of the Dreadwood. So that's the anti-healing curse. Are oh, we going to be absolutely fine here? Alright, let's go Avenger. Oh no, he's 55. Why did I think he was lower than that? Why? Oh, it's this one is 54. Okay, um, regardless, we're going to be absolutely fine. We've got enough oh shit- Oh god, everything is resisting. We've got enough oh shit buttons if we really need to. Um, let's at least put a Judgment of Wisdom on there so I can start getting some mana back. If we really need it. It is looking like we're going to have to bubble and bandage at some point here though. He's killing us at about the salt. Unless I do that, that's helpful. Resist, and we got him. Okay. Ooh, that was. Uh, oh, I can also turn in rep for five of these feathers, but. Uh, yeah, I'm. Actually, I am gonna have to go back down there for the turn in. Ugh, yuck. Bandage. Oh, I was about to use a spell to heal myself again. Silly boy. Alright, well, I'll hold on to these feathers then. I would love to be able to say, well, I'm not going back down there again, but I definitely will be to turn those quests in. What do we have here? Small Thorian Vein. No chance we're going to be able to get that. Shaman, Avenger, 55 Avenger again. I mean, that wasn't too bad killing him. There's a 54. Definitely prioritize that one. The Avengers do seem to be the ones I need to kill first. Oh yeah, where's that? Where'd that banana go? It's up here. <laughs> what used to be up there? I guess that was a bandage. Um, where are my bandages? Let's move that up there then. Is this a patrol? It is. So we've got two 54 Avengers here. I'll see if I can grab this. That'd be great. Just gotta make sure it's not a double. And they are walking around a circle together. And. Oh, I. I am very shocked that didn't end up being a double pull. I'll take it though. Gonna take any... Um, any... Oh, what's the word? Any charity at this stage, I'm gonna take it. 
nearly went 10 seconds there without landing a hit. That's what we needed. We needed a big crit. Even the odds. Boom. Alright. Three more Avengers. Mr. Patrol here. Would be an ideal one. Oh, great. Someone else here. There's a chieftain there that we I have no interest in dealing with. Hmm. I wonder how far he patrols around. He might do the full camp. Looks like the shadow. Oh, the shadow priest was killing the Winterfall runner, I think. Oh well, let's just start killing things up here. That's a 55 again. Would prefer to avoid the 55s where possible. Oh, there's the ding. Good timing. And that means the 55 isn't going to be so hard to kill anymore. Let's get our talent. Uh, we've got a few levels of nothing. We're trying to get to precision here. The 3% uh, higher chance to hit. Uh, and in order to do that, we are upgrading. <laughs> We're making our shield stuff stronger. Because as you know, we, we use shields all the time. Yeah. But hey, 53. If I didn't lose all my footage, you wouldn't have seen me turning 53. So, congrats to me for that. 53 not being uh, the biggest milestone doesn't mean I've got to head back to Stormwind or anything like that. This guy is still trucking me. Let's kill him as quickly as possible. Gonna need a hundred more rep. Hopefully this turn in gives me a hundred rep. I will cry tears of sadness if it doesn't. That was our last shaman. Shaman definitely seems to be the most prevalent enemy in the area. Still need more den watchers, so I'm going to go grab this one. Also, I'd like to update I am evolving. I just scratched my nose without hitting my mic boom arm and therefore hurtling the microphone into my face and smashing my nose. I am evolving as a living being. I've gone past the age of the apes, starting to become a, a normal human. Do we jump across here maybe and kill these Avengers? Um, those will be the last two we need, so... You can see my answer to my own question here. Yes, we're gonna do it. Don't want to get a shaman involved here. One den watcher... Yeah, the den watchers ended up being the, the rarest mob here. We are, uh... Missing a lot. And we're missing our health a lot as well. Might go for a stun and a heal here, if we don't get, uh, things don't quite go our way here. Let's get a proc of something, a crit. Hammer, you'll do. <laughs> Not enough. Let's heal ourselves before this fellow comes over here. Pridal something. Leather, strength, agi stam. Honestly, it's probably better than mine, but for a DPS at least. I just, I just don't like. I know, like my full previous is probably leather as a ret pally, but I don't know. I like sticking to plate when I have the opportunity to. This could be a challenging fight for sure. Could stop you from putting that anti heal on me. I hate that. Uh, removing that stun also means I'm not going to be able to stun and heal. So if we really do... Ah, oh, he's going to do it anyway. You bastard. Two minutes of 50% reduced healing. That's terrible. Hang on, I don't have a seal on. 
Anyway, at least this is our last Avenger. Avenger, assemble. And now we just need two Den Watchers. First of which is here, that we already saw before. Um, maybe I'll eat a banana. 2,000. Let's see if this really gives us 2,000 health, or if it only gives us 1,000 with this debuff. I mean, my health's gone up pretty quickly. I think it's safe to say that bananas are not affected by this debuff. Smack, smack. Oh, there's our last one. Be able to ride off into the sunset after this. Let's take him down. So, I guess among the things I talked about that are forever gone... I'm not, I'm not going to upload <laughs> purely voice of me playing World of Warcraft, so... Uh, I was talking about the new WoW stuff, the new expansions. I was talking about how I don't trust the triple expansion announcement. Everyone that I've seen so far is saying how great it is. Um, in that they're thinking long term about the story. I actually don't. I think that, uh, that we, we don't have a right to trust this company. To trust the remnants of Blizzard and Activision. Um, and who knows what's going to happen with Microsoft. But... Um, I don't think it's going to be looking forward to three expansions. I think the three expansions are going to feel more like one expansion. That's my take on the triple expansion announcement. Um, let's get out of here. Let's skedaddle. 71 rep required. Probably going to have to aggro a few things here. And those things hit hard. Um, regardless... Oh, good Jesus, you're still hitting me. I'm so far away. Um, anyways, regardless... Um, I don't play retail, so... Doesn't really worry me what ends up happening. But for those that do, I just think you should temper your expectations with this whole uh, announcement of three expansions. Even just reading the notes about how they told you what's going to be happening in each expansion, I think that's really weird. Don't you think it's weird to play an expansion and already know what's going to be happening in the next one? Uh, I guess we'll be taking these pants. Yes, that is exactly what I wanted. Speak to Salfa. She's on the other side. Right? Right? Is that the one that's... I gotta go... Yeah, yeah, it's over there. I might just go and get that done. Even though I, I have no intention of going to Winter Spring. But if it's on the way, might as well knock it out. You know what, I'm gonna... I, I think I'm already past the time I said I was gonna get off. I think we'll just do a little bit more. Let's not make this a total, uh, you know, half episode. Not gonna be much fighting, but... Uh, this will be a little bit closer to a full-length episode if we do this. Pretty sure. So up would, up would have to be Moonglade. So we'll go right here first. Hello, hello. Thank you for not attacking me. Seems that word has passed that Negasister's not too bad. She's been fighting your enemies. So, although you're not particularly friendly with me, you won't attack me on sight. Wait, what were you? That is the fourth deadliest enemy in Felwood. Does that mean it's all people trying to skip through? That would be hilarious. Uh, hello? Can I... Am I lagging out? What's going on here? I am not going to... Wait, unless you're sending me back through. Even though it says Winterfall activity. Yeah, kill Winterfall people. We're not doing that. We are going to go through to Moonglade now. I remember Moonglade being a pretty peaceful place. Interested to see 
if it feels the same the first time in a very long time. I've been to Moonglade. Hello. Timbermore Woodbender. The ninth deadliest creature in Felwood. Nice. Stuff that jump up. Can I even jump here? Probably not. Oh, I can. Gentlemen. Don't mind me. Kernda. Who are you, Kernda? Didn't think there'd be any named mobs down here. You guys must get really bored. Well, I mean, then again, if you are one of the most deadly creatures in the area, then I guess you do have some things to keep you busy. I don't even remember what I'm going to get for this quest. It's been a while since we did it. Besides one gold 50. I feel like one gold 50 for something like that's a little underwhelming. But yeah, I did that already. Just making room. I, I don't know. I'd like to think that we're going to get some, some kind of reward. I think we do put these pants on. We're losing 12 stamina and 3 defense, which is basically nothing. Oh, actually... Oh, what is going on here? We can't mount up. Oh, that was a massive delay. It says we're at 189 MS. I don't believe that. Um, it's definitely a good time to be in Moonglade where nothing can kill us because... Uh, it seems like if we were in a cave right now, we could be dead with these kind of weird lag spikes. <laughs> I just thought of lag spikes and my eyes darted over to see if I'm still recording. Just, <laughs> just in case it stopped. Where's... Oh, the fly path's over there. Okay. I have to go back and get that. Hello, keep your Remul Keeper Remulos. Yep, yep. Thank you. You're welcome. That's really it, huh? 6,000 XP is pretty good, though. What are you... What are you making those noises for? Damn. Why did I think I was going to get an item from that? Let's grab the flight point and... I think at that at this point it's just going to be me riding around turning quests in. Although we have extended the episode a little bit. I don't know if that is going to be interesting enough. Where are you? I have actually never seen the Alliance flight, flight point here. The Horde one is over this direction, I, I believe. Here it is. Start flying back to Felwood. Oh, my throat yeah. is red raw. God is so what do I actually have to turn in? Got these ones at the bottom of Felwood. I wonder if flying to Astronar might actually be quicker. Though you got to kind of do a right angle turn. Is that even the right way to describe it? Whatever. We'll just go through Felwood. Then over here, we've got something to hand in at Ironforge. That's a nothing hand in. Maybe we didn't have as much to hand in as I thought we did. Um, either way, I've told you my thoughts about the WoW expansions. Uh, they did announce that Cataclysm's coming out as well, which I, uh, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens with that. I've been doing Classic for a long time now. I have been running a team uh, if not solo running, but at least uh, running it as part of a team for basically the entirety of uh, the life of Classic. So we'll be, I'll, I'll be looking at my options. I think I will likely be coming back for Kata, even if just to have a bit of a play around, but uh, I don't know what the future holds yet. It's basically what I've said at the end of every expansion. I'll, I'll see what the vibes are. Um, there's also uh, Diablo 4 news, which, because you guys haven't heard me say it, I'll say it again. I played the shit out of Diablo 4 when it came out, and I did really enjoy it. Really enjoyed it for about the first month. Grinded my Barbarian up into the 90s before I uh, 
I think that's when we started hearing about seasonal and stuff, and I was really not enjoying the grind anymore. So, uh, is there a shortcut? Maybe, uh, maybe that'll be a bit dangerous if I go that way. Basically, after my month of Diablo 4, I really have no motivation whatsoever to go back to it. And I feel like a lot of people are in the same boat. So the announcement of a Diablo 4 expansion doesn't really interest me. But I was also thinking, you know what, when I hit level 60, who knows, maybe I'll play some Diablo. If my YouTube channel was around at the release of Diablo, the very first thing you would have seen was Diablo content, so... Who knows, maybe they make some fun changes, something that uh, piques my interest to go back, but right now, I, I am not interested. Uh, what other announcements? They did Overwatch, which I had no interest in. They did Hearthstone, which I have no interest in. Um, I don't play either. Was that about it? Probably was. Um, yeah, I, I guess I guess the big takeaway from all of that was just what I was saying before. I, I just, just the philosophy of companies and stuff. I, I really question why. I'll, I'll just let's let's highlight this just quickly. So. The first expansion of retail is going to be the War Within. You will meet the Nerubians and descend to the heart of Azeroth. Okay, fair enough. I don't know why we're doing Nerubians again. We already killed the King of the Nerubians, so I can only assume it's a stronger Nerubian. I don't know. If, I, I don't know. Are they bad guys? Are they good guys? I guess we'll find out. The second expansion is called Midnight, where we will be returning to the Old World to Quel'Thalas. Forces of the Void have invaded Azeroth. They are plunging the world into darkness. You will banish the Shadow forever. So we already know in the second expansion... Um, we're we're going to be dealing with the Void. Which kind of gives away, most likely... What the end bosses are going to be from the first expansion of War Within. It's probably going to be about the Void. Which is no surprise to anyone, I'm sure. Um... It just kind of feels like it's giving information away that you probably don't want going into a new expansion, knowing that there's going to be more. The final of the three expansions is The Last Titan. Uh, you'll be going back to Ulduar, witness the return of the Titans. There you will uncover a vast conspiracy, stretches throughout the history of the world, challenges everything you know about the world, and something about Silithus. I'm guessing that's about how the world is actually a titan, Azeroth is a titan, whatever. I, I thought they already talked about this kind of stuff. Again, I don't play retail, I just pick up, you know, little bits and pieces here and there. It just, it just feels weird knowing all of this information before an expansion even comes out. It kind of feels like it invalidates whatever you're doing at the time if you already know what's going to be coming next. It's an odd choice to me. It makes me think that Activision is trying to sell something. If they are planning to go onto the Battle Pass with Microsoft, maybe they're putting this information out to tell people, hey, World of Warcraft is going to be around for many years to come. So you should buy our long-term services, buy, buy our passes or whatever it is, because we're not going anywhere. Maybe, you know, that, I just I just question why they're doing that the way they are. Everyone seems to be happy about this, so maybe... Maybe I'm missing something. Uh, how far are we to go? You know what, let, let's let's just go to there. We'll, we'll go to there. I was going to end it earlier than this, but... Uh, we'll get to our quest turn-ins. We'll turn those in, and I think that'll... That'll do us. I don't know if my throat will be able to take any more... Oh, no. Get off me. Yeah, don't you get your friends to join in. And boom, finish him with a big hammer. And there's so many more wolves up here. Why are there so many in this one spot? Don't hit me. Well, you know what I just realized? I haven't looked at hardcore deaths in forever. So who just died? Edbert, level 35, slain by Syndicate Wizard. Those are the massive hitting casters. 
Everyone's ripping in guild chat. Lol, so dumb, he says. We just walked past you, says another guy. Oh, GG. Any big deaths? Oh, yeah, there's Edbert in the uh, death log. No really high level deaths. Here is my answer to my sore throat. This building. Give me the XP. Also take note of how much rested XP I have. <laughs> ah. It'll give you an idea of how long it is until I next log on. Good adventurer. With their numbers weakening, we can further press them. How was your first taste of their power? Yeah. Were they as strong as you thought they would be? Stronger? Or perhaps they were no challenge for you at all. Wouldn't that be something? We can discuss the details of your exploits later. There are other things we must focus on now. Deep within Jadenar lies shadow. Right, that's enough. I don't need to know about this right now. All right, that's going to do us, folks. Uh, yeah, there's no... I wish this was an inn. Let's give me rested XP. That is unfortunate. I would have loved to have just picked up here next episode. And then again, it's probably better that we don't. We should be hitting the level 50 stuff. So we will go back to Stormwind. Alright, so it's been a challenging day for me. Um, this took up a bit more time than I would have liked. And it's going to re result in a video that's not as long as I would have liked. But... Uh, Hey, at least we're still alive. We're level 53. Still on the way to 56. Uh, thanks for keeping me company through this trialing episode. And I will see you next time.